starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Robotics and Automation Future? Our Robotics and Automation Checkpoint keeps you updated. Would you like to be an affiliate in the next global AI tech company? Register at www.coolzone.ai. AI are promoting efficiency, transparency, and trust in a variety of industries, ranging from the healthcare industry to the financial sector. Would you like to be an affiliate in the next global AI tech company? Register at www.coolzone.ai. Help your website succeed using OTracker's heat map. Find trends, patterns, and opportunities. Get your 7-day free trial of OTracker. Simply register at www.coolzone.ai. Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you for being here. The 13th of April. <laughs> I'm in trouble saying that April word. <laughs> the time's going so quick. Um, yeah, hello, everybody. Kind of an end of the week wrap up. As you can see, I've got uh, Mike and Collins here. Chris is, uh, we all know, annoying somebody somewhere else. No, he had uh, he had other plans. So... He couldn't make it today, and that's that's fine. We're going to be okay. Um, uh, oh, last night, if you couldn't make it, there was a webinar by uh, Daryl Cook and Dan Street, how to use the uh, O-Connect. It was very, very good. Uh, I will get that recording because I'm not sure. I think they have it. I'll get it out on YouTube so you can watch it. It was very good. Uh, Daryl being an educator and kind of a professor type guy and, and Dan being Dan, they did a very, very good job. No doubt about it. You, you, you got to see it. it. It definitely made it simple on how to use OConnect. And they only went with three or four features. There's a, a gourmet of more features that you can use, but they, they're used the same the same way. So. If you can do those three, you can do all 10 or 15 that they do have. Um, as you know, O-Tracker, I mean, O-Connect is being worked on every day. If you log in, you'll see just an example. I logged in yesterday, and when you get in there and you're the host, you look at the bottom left-hand side. More used to be there when you click it to see the attendees. It was kind of small, and I was going to make a note for support to kind of enlarge that and whatever they enlarge it i never said a word so they listen they're looking at the same things we are on paper and ai and when they're doing the coding they it looks it looks one way and as you're running it and adding features or opening up the screen some things kind of disappear so they readjust it perfect it was really really cool and how now at the camera in the bottom you can control the resolution instead of going to the top right hand corner. I'm not going to go to each one, but if you really want to know what's going on in OConnect, use it. Go in there and use it, and you can't break it. And some some of you, which I don't understand, haven't used it. You, if you use it and you see how it works and see how easy it is, you're going to be surprised what you can do with your family. The, the, uh, it was proved again last night. I don't care what you're doing. None of us here. It's not about, well, I can't do what he's doing, and I don't do what he's doing. Who gives a crap? I don't want you to do what I do. There's no reason. Don't do what Collins or Mike Ellis does. You're not going to go make videos from like Mike Ellis all of a sudden or work on high-tech stuff like uh, Collins. It's not going to happen. But 
there is something you do or you love that you can incorporate or use on passive to blow it up. Listen, could you, here's what's going to happen. You're going to make, you're going to do well on on passive. You're going to do well on passive, even if you didn't want to. If you're in, you're going to win. It's just going to happen. But during this process, you have something you really care about. Maybe you're, you really know French really well and you want to teach it. You, you have books, you're, you're an author and you want to really share it. With Unpassive, you could blow that up. I believe, no joke, that there'll be people here that make another income, another stream of income, just doing the passion that they love. Just, just using the tools. I was in a meeting yesterday, which is dangerous, but I was in a meeting with the OTEC Pro guys and a couple of people, and we started talking about different stuff, you know, like what can be done, what's going to happen. And that's always dangerous. I mean, that's why I limit my my time with Mike Ellis and Dan, because, no, I'm just kidding. But what happens is you start, there's a face value of unpassing. We all see it. We all look at it different. But if you really go just a couple layers deep, you peel one onion layer back, you realize, oh, my God, you could do the same thing with this, with this, with this, with this, with this. It just goes right down to, and you, you're going, yeah, but if you do that, you could do that. Every time you mention, did you know you could actually do this with O-Connect? It's another stream of income. I'm not kidding. So when you're looking at that first layer and you're going, wow, we're going to do, peel back a couple layers and realize this, the power of one passive. It's so much bigger than you think. One simple one. This was a little one we were talking about. You, you're you doing O-Connect. It's out to the market. Uh, this little bottle, crazy bottleneck that was created from back September with the merchants. Picture this now. All right. I don't want to hear marketing. Okay, that's just stupid. I mean, there's no reason anybody needs to be a marketer. You get in, you're just John Smith or Mary Smith. And you're in O-Connect, you're doing stuff with the family, you love it, you learned how to do it. It's because you don't have to learn, it's very simple. You click the button, you're having fun, you invite your friends. Don't invite them to be, hey, do you want to be an affiliate? That, why would you do that? Just invite them to use O-Connect, just like you invited them to use Zoom. Here's what's going to happen. A, an ex an ex zoomer I say X because they're going to leave. But a Zoomer or any, I'm not just putting down Zoom, any one of the other five, top five, there's probably 10, 20, but the top five, you invite them in and they see what there is and they see all the stuff and you make them a co-host. This is, this is my opinion. This is fact. This isn't just an opinion. They come in, they use it. You're doing trivia. You're doing a family get to get this far. Uh, Pictionary. You could do Pictionary on freaking Oak and the Hicks, okay? They got a whiteboard. Anyway, you could do Hangman for all that matters. But anyway, you go in, you're doing it. They see it. Hey, can I do that? Yeah, try this. Now they start messing with it. First thing in their head, can I have this? How can I get this? Their, their first thought will be, well, I can't afford this because if you have all this, obviously it's more than Zoom, and Zoom is raking the money out of me. Then you tell them, the price. Now they'll disappear off the screen because they passed out. But when they come back and they realize you're kidding me, think about what's going on subconsciously, plus consciously. Wait a minute. For this many people in the room, for this price at this company I have now cost this, and you're telling me I can have all of this for this price? Now that something has changed, not only do they want it, they're upset with the company that ripped them off for the last eight months or a year or since the pandemic is when most people came on. So you don't have to attack the company. You don't have to be a marketer. That's just people want to save money. Collins brought up a good thing. He, he can bring it up later of what happened during that little glitch with Facebook going off. He's going to bring that up, I believe. It, it's 
people need this type of social gathering online. It's not going to go away. It's going to get more. Why not be at the best spot? And how do you do that? Just share it. Where are you at? Oh, I want to talk to you. When O-Mail's ready, when it's at the level of O-Connect right now, and according to Ask Me For Our, O-Connect's not good enough. I don't care. If it goes to market, it's better than any other one. By far, not even close. And you're going to make it better every month? Where are they going to go? Well, there's nowhere to go. They're not even going to think about going into worlds. But when you could say, you write something and say, hey, look, I'm switching over to O-Connect when you write your emails at the bottom. And they, I'm not pushing that right now because I don't like O-Mail the way it is. I know where it's going. They're working on it now. But when that happens and you just send a few emails and they're going to write you back, why did you go there? You got a little note. P.S. Right? You know, you can have this too for free. Free is pretty attracting. And then when they come in, you give them a couple bullet, bullet points. They're in. You don't need to go, this is unpassive. This is Misty Mufar owns it. Marty DeGarmo and Collins and Michael. Yeah, just let that crap go. They're going to find that out after they get it. You give somebody a good deal, that's what they want. They need it. People they are strapped for money. They want to get in. They want the most for their money. And trust me, nobody's going to do it better and at a more affordable price than unpassive. That's all done for you. I'm just saying people need to share. You need to share. And some people, a lot of people need the social thing that we have because it's not out there. In all the MLMs we were in, not it didn't happen to myself, Mike, and Dan as much, but everyone around us was cutthroat. They smile, ha, ha, but they're not really, they could give a, they don't care if you succeed. You're fighting to do what you can for yourself. In fact, it's so bad, the one or one and a half percent are fighting for the one and one and a half percent because they know that the 98 percent can't do what they're doing. It has nothing to do with how smart you are. Who has time to learn how to market 10, 12 hours a day and $20,000, $30,000? Nobody has that in five years, six years. Me, probably eight years because I'm slower. But the point is, it takes that a long time. And people are like, no, that's not what I was told. I was told if I come in and follow you for 90 days and do what you're doing, I'll be a millionaire. Yeah, that's the problem. You're not going to be. And with Unpassive, everyone wins. Pretty cool thing. Anyway, I'm going to um, turn it over to Mike. There's other things I'll add in, but if I keep going mm -hmm. on it later, we need to. But anyway, here's Mike Ellis. Yeah, no, th thanks, Marty. I, uh, I want to... Uh... Uh, ditto you with uh, Dan and Daryl on their presentation on OConnect. If you if you look if you look at their presentation, you understand just how good OConnect is compared to the rest of the market. And then if you've just listened to Marty, you understand why OConnect is going to go viral and going to go viral very very quickly. And if you've been in on passive in your affiliate, you understand what that's going to do for you. And it's all good stuff. Uh, I, I, I want to talk about, you know, Marty talked about layers of Unpassive, and, and I want to get into some of the layers of Unpassive. And Mr. Mufara talked last week um, on 360 with, with, with Marty and, and, and Red and, and Chris. Uh, it was very, very powerful. And a, a lot of the people that listened to that presentation that Mr. Mufara gave, their whole focus I mean, their whole focus was on this will be the last extension you will get probably. And, and that's what that's what they looked at. That's what they heard. That's what they saw. And that's all they're thinking about right now. They're thinking about the 18th. That'll be the last extension. And all these things are going to happen, right? I, I guarantee that's what people are thinking right now. And I'm telling you flat out, do not pigeonhole Mr. Mufara in any kind of a date. Number one, it won't work. He's going to do what he needs to do. He always does. And he always does the right thing. So don't try and pigeonhole Mr. Mufara on the 18th. And, and, and I want to talk about the one thing when, when I, and I read the notes first, and then I went back and I, I watched the video because I, I was working. I wasn't able to, 
to be on the 360. Well, number one, I think it was like two in the morning when they did this thing. I was probably still in bed. But I but when I got up, I actually got up early enough to catch the last hour, but I missed the first hour and it was very, very powerful. And the one thing that when I and I did not hear this originally, but I read it and then I heard it when I listened to uh, the recording that Marty did. And the one thing that just popped out on me, I mean, I, I saw that and, and I went, yeah, that's that was the focus of the whole the whole webinar. And it was a sentence. That's all it was. It was a sentence. And the sentence was, uh, we're, we're doing a broad investigation at all levels government, regulations, rules, everything throughout the world. And when I heard that, the last six months came into vision. They, they, they got very, very clear for me. And my, my thought was, nothing happens by accident. So Marty talked about the processors coming in, putting a hold on all the money that they had collected from, from on passive. And we know, at least Marty uh, Collins and I know, that when companies do that, they can hold that money for six months. Was that an accident? No, it wasn't an accident, but it was a very, very good thing for Unpassive. Why? And I know people are going, are you crazy? We could have launched six months ago. We could have been making money. We could blah, 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 all the stuff that's in the back of your mind. But here's what happened in that last six months. Yes, the attorneys had to go to work, and I'll get to that in a second. But it gave Unpassive the time to put O-Connect in a place where it's ready for prime time. And it took the whole six months. It really did. Do things happen by accident? I don't think so. It was a good thing that the, and people are going, are you crazy? <laughs> it was a good thing that the processors held that money because it gave Mr. Mufara the additional time he needed to be, to go to his tech team. And there are more than one and take care of O-Connect and get it in a position that it is just unbelievably awesome. Not just awesome, unbelievably awesome. Why is that so important? Again, we get to that place, it's ready for prime time. When it goes out, Marty talked about it, it will go viral. And as it goes viral, we're not talking about a few million dollars coming in. We're talking about tens of millions, hundreds of million dollars. O-Connect alone, You'll be able to come in, participate with Unpassive, O-Connect o -Connect alone will give you the future that you're looking for, okay? That six months was so critical because the processing companies held that money, it was a good thing for, for Unpassive and O-Connect. Now, let's talk about <clears throat> what happened when the processors held the money. And Ash said this on, uh, on the 360 uh, last week. He said, you know, Online learning, learning how to do an online business is very, very difficult and it's really, really costly. There is a price you pay to come online and learn how to do this. And the last six months is a really, really good example of how expensive it can be to come online and learn how to do this. And, and what happened Obviously, when the processors held, held the unpassive money, Ash Mufara had to get the attorneys going. He had to get them working on this, uh, this little glitch that they had. And if you, if you look at attorneys, they don't do this for free. They are doing billing, and their billing is hourly. And if you look at the last six months, what the attorneys have billed on passive, and this is conservative. If you have one attorney working on this problem, the minimum, I mean the bare bones bottom that they're gonna charge hourly is $1,200 an hour. If you, if you extrapolate that out six months, it's about 960 hours. If you, if you, if you multiply it by 120, uh, if you multiply it by $1,200 an hour, it's $1.5 million that on passive has paid the attorneys to go in and resolve this problem. They've done it. it, it it's a done deal. Ash pretty much said that. But talk about an expensive venture having to go in and resolve this and get the attorneys involved. Now, what does that mean for you and I? Unpassive has been a beast of burden. 
they've burdened all the costs involved coming online and being successful. And because of that, they are going to make us successful. Now, you and I, Marty, Dan and I, we, uh, Marty and I and Dan, we've been doing this for about 15 years. We know about the cost of coming online and being successful. It's not cheap. Initially, it's the time involved just to learn how to do what you what you need to do be, to be successful. But once you get there, now the, the 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 monetary part of that comes in, and you have to start forking out money. This is on this is on a really 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 smaller scale than on passive, but it hurts when you have to come in and make those sacrifices and spend the money and 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 continue to to put the time in to learn what you're doing, it's really, really hard. Unpassive has done that for each and every one of us. They have been a beast of burden really for five years, but the last six months, it's been very expensive, the learning curve, very, very sharp, and it has cost Unpassive. But because of that, Unpassive has put us in a situation where we are golden. Last six months, Oconnect, Prime time, ready for prime time. The last six months, Unpassive has taken care of that bottleneck. They've spent the money. They spent the time. They got the attorney, attorneys involved. We didn't have to do that. Unpassive, we had to do a broader, a broader investigation. I mean, that doesn't sound like much. A broader investigation on all levels. On all levels. You're talking about a multi, multi billion dollar company, and they had to do a broader investigation on every level. That is massive. There wasn't one attorney, one attorney involved. There were probably a dozen attorneys involved. Now calculate the among numbers of what Unpassive paid to get through the last six months. Are you kidding me? And then, and then I go to, to Dr. Turek and Dr. Susan. They're superstars. They came to Ash. They were not happy. They said, Ash, you need to release all the products of Unpassive because this thing will go viral right away. What does that mean? I believe, this is my opinion, hundreds of hundreds of millions of dollars will be coming into Unpassive. You need to forget about the founders. You need to release these problems. We need to see the money flow. Well, Ash didn't do that. He said, no, no, this is what we're doing. It is going to work. We've got everything in line. It's a done deal. We just need a little bit more time, six months, okay? Well, we're there. The six-month period is over. Um, I believe very, very quickly that, uh, yeah, everything's going to break loose. Everything's going to start to start to flow. The last thing, <clears throat> the 18th is, is in about a week. Do not pigeonhole Mr. Mufara. If it takes another three days, fine. Don't say a word. If it takes another week, if it takes another extension, if it takes two extensions, do not say a word. Everything that he's doing right now is we're at the culmination of what's been going on the last six months. It is going to happen, period. Now, I believe it's going to happen probably this month, maybe the first week of, of May. OK, that's fine. That is such a short period of time compared to the time we put into on passive the last five years. If you've been in four, three, two, one, whatever it is, it's very, very short. Let on passive. And, and again, you can't pigeonhole Mr. Mufar. He is going to do what he needs to do. And when he does it, I think it's going to be very, very quick, guys. I, I'm just putting scenarios out there. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But when it happens, believe me, you will be doing your happy dance. It's going to be very, very good. And this year is just going to be a blast. It really is. Collins, I'll turn it over to you, and you take it wherever you want to go. Go ahead, Collins. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Marty, for inviting me. You know, Mike, you just said it all. You know, I was just laughing when you were saying, you know, all of this stuff, you know, with the product and the effort that it takes to build um, a product like this. That is a blessing, you know, when... Um, all of these things that happen on passive, the money that were held by the, the merchant and stuff like that, it gives that time, that time frame for Mr. Ashmufala to perfect or connect. Because remember, that's our paid product. You know, everything happened for a reason. That is really true. But when I look at it again, Mr. Ashmufala have always tell us all of these things. He said, when you give people value, what will happen? They will come. We provide value. 
they will come. Value for affordable price. You know, we are looking at the digital world where things are getting, things are really expensive, especially now we are really interacting. Most of us are interacting with machines. A lot, a lot of people don't know that they are interacting with machines, with computers. So take computer, like yesterday we were talking with Maddie, take computer out of our life. Take your phone for one second, shut it down for one second. It's like the whole world have just shut away from you. You know, you cannot do without your phone. You cannot do without, there's a lot of things. You can take your bank card away from you. You know, sometimes you say, where's is, where is my bank card? Where is it? Where's my, my credit card? You know, all of this, they are all computer system. Everything is digitalized. So now Mr. Ashifar look at the affordability. He said, how do we make things affordable for the common users? But you don't want to compromise value. It takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of hard work to develop a product like O Connect. And you say, yes, I want to make a video conferencing platform, a, a video confer conferencing platform that will be so affordable for everyone and anyone that come into Unpassive. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of money as well to, to do that. And we're seeing the fruit of it, you know, because if you look at the price point, you know, which Mr. Ash Mofara offer like the first version of O Connect, it is just crazy. It's like it's just it's just a giveaway, you know, a giveaway ten thousand participant for how much, you know, for under two hundred dollars because it was just like one hundred and forty five. That's six thousand something. If you look at it, Zoom, I think the other provider will just you know charge you six thousand plus a month. But Mr. Ash said, you know what? My idea is not about money, it's about making technology, bringing technology to us. Said what they are charging you so much, it doesn't take a genius to say, this is it, you can use it. You know, and he, don't, he did not only build it, he transformed the digital world. We're talking about digital transformation through AI. You know, building AI within a system that will make our life easy and give you for what for an affordable price you know nobody will do that i don't think any any it company will ever do that because the higher the value the more costly it is you know sometimes we want nice things a lot of us want nice things nice phone you know nice camera but when you look at the price you said no it's not for me i can't afford this <laughs> you know so it's always for the rich but what happened is i said what if we build same thing, you know, higher quality, better than what you are seeing, and then give you for 75% of the price? You tell me, Sajifara, you are crazy. You cannot do that. How can you sell something like this? How can you, where are you getting your materials from? Because they'll think like, where are you getting everything? Because these people are giving this, everywhere you go is the same price. It's just, the price is just skyrocket. And you say, you know what? I can give you 90% off the price for same quality or higher quality. You said, no, man, this is really crazy because I don't know where you're getting all the materials. They said everything is around us. It's just that they make it for we not to see. It's that these things are just there. They transform because if you that have the brain to think out of the box and build this solution, what they do, they say, you know what? Because they are blind. So let's charge them. Let's charge them before they even realize, <laughs> like, like Mardi said, when people will realize that Zoom has been milking them off, when they look at O Connect, nobody will tell them. They'll say, you know what? Not only will they hate them, they'll say, what have you been doing to us for the past years? You know, and you, you are looking at the products of Unpassive. The time will come where people will not even think about Mr. Ash Mufara because now, the few that knows Mr. Ash Mufara and Unpassive, I say, oh, that's Mr. Ash Mufara. Think about the billions who will not even know Mr. Ash Mufara. They just come because of the product. How many of us know? I don't think I even know the Google man. I always forget his name. I don't even know his name, but I use Google. I don't even know who even built face the original, the original um, WhatsApp. Some of them, I don't even know them. I don't know IBM. I don't know the owner of IBM. Do I use IBM? Yes. When Facebook, and was up shut down for about one hour 24 hours where they lost hundreds of million where the people tend to they didn't say oh max zuckerberg i love you i love you come back they tend to 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 telegram straight everybody was in telegram 
because they want a communication tool. In in digital world, there is no love attached. There is value. What they can access, the access of technology. If I can access this and reach out to somebody, that's what matters. I don't care if it is built by Maddie Digamo or is built by, by, by Mike Ellis. Can I use it? Yes. Can the system do what it says it can do? Yes. Can I move from A to B? Yes. I don't care about money. Give me the technology. Is it affordable? Yes. Give it to me. You know, that is what everybody, those who use technology, that's what they think. You go to Africa, you go somewhere, you ask, who is Mark Zuckerberg? Some of them don't know. They said Facebook. Yes, we know Facebook. They don't care about you. They care about what they can use. And that is the digital world. And this is what Mr. Ash Mofara is doing, bringing technology to the needy making it affordable and accessible for everyone if you choose to come into on passive and that's it that's it you come in you will win it is there for everyone and anyone business you and i alike so i will turn it back to Mari digamo <laughs> okay goodbye everybody no, i'm just kidding now that was very good um thinking about what some of you guys said let me just ask a question to people that are in on passive, the ones that saw it like we did. Aren't you glad that we didn't launch with the old O Connect, knowing what we know now? I mean, really? I would much rather, because remember, anything that comes out uh, to the public is coming out to us. And I want it to be great. This is great. When I saw that, I went, whoa it made everything look very small it made all these little problems and hiccups and all okay i get it but man right now o connect uh, seriously and, I, and i'm not just saying this because i'm telling you i told ash put a price on it give me a way to have people pay and get out of my way i know without a doubt myself mike and dan could use that and never have to worry about money again really with just very little effort I mean, I'm not kidding. I, I I just know because what you do is you, if, like Colin said, this isn't. There isn't as much magic in it as you think. You just got to look at what people want. He, when Facebook shut down, people were jumping off cliffs. Okay, they had to find a place where they. I gotta talk to somebody, right? So. I got to look at a slide. I got to, you know, some people's, because life has beat so many people down, everything in their mind is like fantasy type thing. I want to go see, I want to, I can look at pictures. I can look at people surfing in Hawaii right now. I can go, you could go anywhere you want to go now. And so, social media is here to stay. Wouldn't it be nice to start thought, if you could go to a social media platform where you have freedom of speech, they protect your data, and you can't bully, you can't pretend to be somebody else, because I believe this, you should be able to say anything you want. You should also put your name to your mouth. And what you have here, you even say it here, will somebody come in and say something nasty or, or, or um, negative? But I guarantee when they were born, their name wasn't uh, the Goose Meister or some stupid thing. They had a regular name. The reason they don't put the regular name in, because they're cowards. And there's this is a haven for cowards. So listen, when this was built, the, the Facebooks and all that, I don't think they deliberately said, hey, we're going to have 2 billion people one day. We better watch how we build it. No, it took off like a rocket. Go look at the history of Facebook. Million, 10 million, five, 50 million, 100 million. I mean, it just blew off the map. And then what happened? Pandemic come. Where'd everybody go? They went online. And some people cashed in. And I mean, cashed in. You could say any price you want for a video conferencing platform when you're the only sheriff in town. Well, somebody just came on the block. He's probably not going to be a lot of friends. And when people find out, you can get this plus some Oprah for half the price. 
And if you want to make a commission from it, maybe a bonus. Are you kidding me? And when all of them do that, oh, tracker's right, right behind it. Oh, tracker's ready. If you market anything online, I don't care if you're the biggest ones in the world. I don't care if you're a Mars company, okay? Candy. If you have a way of tracking your, your um, advertising dollar, where did it go? Who clicked on it? When did they click on it? What were their thoughts? You start learning the buying habits of people. You learn the buying habits of people, you know when to send it, you know who to send it to, you know what ad to use, you know what image to use. This is what happens with AI. And then you take AI and you marry it to machine learning. So machine learning is learning every day. It's communicating with AI how to get there and how to get the data quicker. What do you have? You have the Mona Lisa. You have a Rembrandt. You have the best of the best. And guess what? Me, Mike Ellis, Collins, you, we don't have to pay for it. We're not paying all the people to make it. We didn't pay all the people to think about it. We didn't pay for them to scrap it, test it, and all that. We buy it one time. And the first time somebody comes into your business, whether through the company, your efforts, you get 100% commission, and you're making money, boom, you're done. What? It doesn't happen. And if you don't believe it doesn't happen, Google, you know, everybody loves to Google, look at the statistics in people starting businesses, even offline. The chance of you making money on a business, I don't care what it is, is pretty darn slim. It's really slim. But when you have everybody doing the work for you, like everything, look, think about this bad time for the eight months. What did on passive, what potential income did on passive lose? Half a billion dollars? A billion dollars? I take a billion. I take minimum a billion. Well, how could you say that? Do the math. We're running constantly since September 1st. O Tracker would have been in, another one would have been in, the doors would have been open, we'd have double, triple the people. It's not, it's not, not that far-fetched, but it happened. And what did this company do when it happened? Okay, we're going down where everybody's going to pause. We'll see you as soon as we get this, this glitch fixed. It's not what they did. It's a normal company. We're not normal. Thank God. I said, well, while you're waiting, and we're having going through this difficulty, because anytime I, I use the word difficulty, cha-ching money's being spent but not by us he said well you know I, I hate for the founders not to have o connect while this is going on so just give them an extension cha-ching millions of dollars a month added to the millions they're not making and all the people they have to pay so if somebody wants to walk up to me and this company's getting over i am the worst person you could come say that to don't call me and tell me that. Don't call. They don't care. The company doesn't. I'm not the person. There's a billion million people here. Choose someone else. Choose someone else. It's not me. I don't want to hear it. I saw what they did. I know what they're doing. It's it's why it's twenty. It's it's as bright as the sun. I can read it. I see what happened. I know what happened. But while that happened, what did they do? You, got, you know what we're going to do? We're going to give you a connect for 30 days, 30 days, 10 days, 10 days. We're getting close. They could have just shut it down. They could have saved millions of dollars. But no, because the philosophy of the company is, hey, we had a problem, not you. So we're going to take care of you while we're fixing the problem. But when the profits come in, how about we split them with you? What the freak? Nobody does that. And that's the company we're in. Now, you can look at this from the outside and says, well, Google says, Google can bite me. I said it again. Google's not a truth engine. If you're popular with what you say as a, a receiving part of the search engine, you're going to be one of the top five. That's the way it is. And by the way, every time you go look at a negative channel on YouTube, you're pushing them up to Google rankings. Why? 
go to something positive. You want to take time? Every single day, Twitter, on passive Twitter, puts out two videos a day, sometimes three. Sometimes they post about AI. Go there and hear the truth. Or you could go to Sugar Daddy or Jelly Belly or whatever the name of this person is to listen to something negative and build their channel instead of building your business. Come on, let's make sense. Don't go there. If you even have an account there, unsubscribe. I don't need to know what they're saying, but I don't care. I watched a show on TV. Rhinoceros is in Africa. And there was a little small fly on the ass of one of them. He didn't even know it was there. Don't point it out. He doesn't even know. Ampasa doesn't know that that fly is on his ass. It doesn't know. Why would you point it out? Ampasa is huge. It's huge. It's not going anywhere. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's good. And people will love it. So let's work together on focus on good things and things that will help you. Because remember, all the crap going on, the company's taking care of it. And when the sky's clear and the storm goes away and the billions come into the company, you know what they're going to do? Why? I'm not even sure. They're going to split the winnings. They're going to split the profits with the people. What the heck? That's what we should be focusing on. I don't care what people say negative. You did this and you did this. And, you know, Ants did this and the government did. I don't give a crap. Somebody goes after everybody when they get to the stage where they're going to be a threat. Go talk to Liam, Elon Musk. He got to a certain point and they said, well, this guy's a little bit, he's got too much, too much power. We don't like where he's going. Ding, ding. He's there anyway. His company and him make more money than some governments. Okay, is Alexis going? All right, Dawn's leaving, guys, in case you wanted to know. <laughs> She's getting out of here. Um, but really, focus on that. I don't mean to keep harping that, but I care about the company. And I know when I'm talking, some people go, well, you keep saying there's people watching this that are not in on passive, and they need to know the heart of the company. Because I'll tell you what, if you could go to people and tell them what this company that was built and what the concept of the company is, they're coming. I don't care if you're selling, I don't care if you're selling bananas. They're coming. People need to know that somebody's got their back. You know why people tell you no? It's not you personally. It's because they don't trust where they're going. I'm not crossing that bridge. Why? Because the last five I crossed collapsed and I freaking fell 10,000 feet and lost $5,000. I lost my friends. Some people lost family. Some people got divorced over on passive. Gina Leva, thank you for the super sticker. That was really nice of you. Her daughter's birthday. Happy birthday. I saw a picture with you and your daughter. It's beautiful. You guys look like twins. Can't believe you have a daughter that old. What the frick happened to me? I look in the mirror and say, who the hell is that? Anyway, um, but seriously, um, we are in a good spot. Uh, share what you have. And people say, what do I have? You're here every day. Some, I know people are getting up and going, okay, and I'm not, but you can't wait to find out about Unpassive. Well, it's a good thing. Why? Because every, you know, I, I, I'm going to give you a prime example. If you have not looked at, at the OTEC Pro that they, they do or the one with um, Comfort yesterday, I went on with uh, Collins, Comfort, and Crazy Vincent, okay? Now, Vincent was one of the most laid-back guys I've ever seen. In fact, sometimes I think he was just asleep, all right? Super intelligent guy. He got hit with the unpassive bomb somewhere in the last month, two months. You got to go hear him speak. I'm not kidding. His knowledge is now coming to his mouth. And everybody there, even the people on the pen are going, who the frick is that? 
but it's really good. I'm not, I'm not kidding. And the sad thing is people should be watching that. I'm not kidding. India, Africa, Bangladesh, I don't care. Vietnam. It was one of the most, it was a very good meeting because they just, there's a discussion going on and it's like you get to put your ear up to the, to hear what's going on. It was really a lot, it was really, really good. But anyway, um, I'm going to turn it back to these guys to closing remarks. Thank you. We had about, I don't know, 400 and some people here today. Not bad for a Saturday. Very and uh, anyway, I'll turn it over to these guys and they can say something. Yeah, just just really, really quick, Martin. I'm not going to say say much. We're, we're coming up on the hour. Uh, Colin said something that just got my mind working. And, and it's a really... It's a saying that's been around for a long, long time, but it's so appropriate for Unpassive, and that's think outside the box. And there's so many different different directions I can go with that because that's what Unpassive is. It's thinking outside the box, and 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 sometime I'll talk about that. But really, the first I don't know twelve years that I was online doing online stuff, I was I was Im I was an imitator. I did not think outside the box. And, and I'm very, very visual. If I see it, most of the times I can do it. But when Unpassive came out and brought the, they, they are that concept. They do think outside the box. <clears throat> they took me to a le another level where I don't, think, I don't think in terms of what other people say and do. I, I, I'm just thinking outside the box. And, and Mr. Mufara did that. And I think if you once you understand the structure, what Mr. Fars, what Marty talked about, you're going to start thinking outside the box and how it's going to affect your life. It's going to be very, very good. And and sometime I'll come on and, and talk about how that affected my life. It's really, really cool stuff. But for now, I'll leave it there. I'll turn it over to Collins. And uh, yeah, very good meeting, guys. Enjoyed all of it. Go ahead, Collins. <laughs> Thank you, Mike um, and Marty. You know. You know, when Buddy and, you know, Maddy was talking, something came in my mind, you know, about the concept of Unpassive. Why Mr. Ash Mufara really mm -hmm. build this business? You know, it's just about we coming in, participating, just doing nothing, you know. And again, the concept is about paying less. It's just like, well, how much did we really pay to be part of, <clears throat> to, to, to own what Mr. Ash Mufara is building for us? Just nothing. <clears throat> but he has given us the ability to earn more, you know, and the reason why he wants us to, to earn more is about going out and do good to humanity. You know, without humanity, take humanity out of on passive. I don't think Mr. Ashfra will even be motivated to build on passive. That's the, 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 you know, the power behind on passive is about that humanitarian part, you know, and when we look at it, the ending more can be, we can split out to, to different ways. Companies that will come, pay less, and do what? Get more. The more, the, the value is the more. You know, because they look at it out there and say, but what else out there can give me so much value? So they have earned more in on passive <clears throat> to enhance their business, making their business more profitable. Can be small business, can medium size and large corporation. When they look into on passive, and notice that everything is built driven by ai you know and ai is there to do what to cut time frame of doing your job you know doing repetitive job all of those type of things that we can to think fast you know you know rational thinking multitasking all of those type of things so when they look and say wow we, there are tools here we can use to enhance our business that is that is ending more and what will happen they will generate more revenue and then they can you know give better lifestyle to their employees if they want to do it you know and all of those type of things so mr Ashford have just built a platform for everyone to strive so that is the concept behind so every time when we sit let us always ask ourselves but what is the concept of unpassive once you understand the concept of unpassive so wow i'm really in a in a in a, in a, in a great place a great company so i'll leave it there buddy <laughs> All right, all right, let me hide that. All right, yeah, beautiful. Um, thank you everybody for being here. But just keep in mind, um, this is bigger than you think. It's 
probably better than most of us think. I, I know it's better than most of us think. And it's for you. And you can run, you can crawl, or you can fly like an eagle. It's up to you how fast. Um, but like me, for me, time is one of the most valuable things of all. And I want to get sharing it. I want to get, and we're, and I'm not, I'm not really pushing it until it goes out to the public and everything's in place so that people can pay, receive, whatever. Once that happens, watch out. The, 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 the people will come and people will, don't, to, don't tell people to do something like go market or do something in 90 days or go to your list. Don't talk to them in MLM terms. Talk to them like you talk to anybody else. This is not about that. You don't need to be a marketer. People will come because they want value. Collins has said it for two years, three years now. It's all about value. Mike talked about value. Ask, Ask what Farah talks about value. He talks about giving people more than they ask for. And, and, and like I said about the new car, <clears throat> I remember get, I've had two new cars in my life, maybe three. And every time I got one, you know, you go out and you're, Oh, I'm getting that new car. It's shiny. It's unbelievable. You open up and sit down in that smell, that new car smell. Oh, my God. This is so cool. A month later, all I got is a car with three wheels, four wheels, and the smell's gone. And now I got a payment for 60 months. Damn. With Unpassive, you pay for that. You pay for the price of a Volkswagen, and you get a Rolls Royce. And the new car smell, every time you log in, you got a brand new Rolls Royce. And not only brand new, the radio you turned on, now it's got new speakers. The digital dash now has been displayed different. The gas pedal, it's gone. It drives for you. I mean, it's just, that's what you're going to have when I'm constant. You're going to log in to what you initially paid for, which is better than anybody else, the price of a Volkswagen, the quality of a Rolls-Royce Phantom. And every time you log in, there'll be a new feature. You can talk to your car. You can come in and say, think about this for a minute. You're in O-Connect and you have, you got people around the world because it's global and you can speak and say, I'm going to have, a German meeting tonight about whatever. And everybody's going to go, oh, she must have a German-speaking person coming on to talk. No, it's going to be me. And I'm going to use AI, and I'm going to talk, and it's going to translate into German. Tell me that's not powerful. Nobody's left out. We're all going to be able to do it. But the limitations, like I said, that fence we had when we were 12, there was nothing. As far as you could see, you thought I could be a fireman, I could be an astronaut, I could be a I could fly planes. And the older we got, the smaller that yard got in our mind. So now we're about that big. We live in a 20 mile radius. I am where I am, and this is where I'm supposed to be. Bull crap. I'm passing knock the field down, knock the walls down, and you got that look like you did when you were a little kid. Take advantage of it. Spend the next 20, 30 years doing whatever the freak you want. Anyway, thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, Dan Street, if you're here, click that link I put in your Skype. Anyway, everybody, thank you very much. It was so a lot dear, of fun. My dear, yeah. one thing, I just want to announce the, the old tech Pro. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Table. Very good. Yeah, so yeah. old tech Pro Roundtable is coming at um, 12 um, um, Eastern Daylight Time. Worth known. So please, if you want to join us for a roundtable discussion, please do. It will be no, fun. No, listen, to, listen to me. He's nicer than I am. Get your butts over to <laughs> OTEC Pro's roundtable. No, really, you should go. No joke. So I might even go. The link to you as me, well. Yeah, if they let me come, I'm going. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm going to go. Yeah. And a lot going on there, too. They're making plans for stuff in the future that is going to be a lot of fun. And I think it very Im impactful. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Collins. Guess I'm stuck with Chris tomorrow. Okay. Got to take the good with the bad, right?
I'm just kidding. Chris is probably laughing like an idiot right now. All right, anyway, see you on 